The following is satirical in nature and should not be taken seriously. Green coffee. On Wednesday, January 6, 2021, President Trump had his final rally just to thank all of his supporters for their support and to say his farewell. His supporters were sad to see his term end, but they were very excited to see what the next step in American history would hold as the new president was soon to take office. As the rally drew to an end, he encouraged his supporters to enjoy the beauty of our nation's capital and to visit the various landmarks. He specifically encouraged them all to visit the capital, the place where laws are made to ensure our country continues to thrive in peace and unity. Many of the people heeded his advice, and with great joy and excitement, they marched towards the capital. They sang songs about America the beautiful, and they chanted cheers for unity and a reminder that black lives truly matter. As they approached the capital, they ran into representatives of Congress, who cheered them on to say, We hope that you will enjoy your tour of the wonderful capital. When they finally arrived at the Capitol, security stopped them to ask if they had their pass. And lucky for them, they all had their passes ready to show so that they can enter the Capitol for their grand tour. Before they went in, security was kind enough to take a group photo so that they will all remember this day for the rest of their lives and could tell their grandchildren stories. As they entered the Capitol, they were amazed at the beauty of it. They were pointing at all of the wonderful things that they could see. The beautiful walls, the beautiful floor, the beautiful ceiling, the paintings, the statues. They were so amazed at the beauty and they were so honored to be able to visit the U.S. Capitol. Their tour included many wonderful and exciting activities, including a photo op where visitors were able to sit behind the desk and pretend they were a member of Congress. Some visitors played games like peekaboo with the tour guides. This guy didn't do a very good job because when he looked through the little hole in the window, they found him. The visitors were also lucky to visit this day because they were shooting a movie called Capital Has Fallen. Some of them were able to watch some exciting action scenes being filmed. They also had a dress-up contest for the visitors to see who can come up with the most creative outfit. This guy decided to dress up like the squirrel from Ice Age, and just to be original, he added horns to his outfit. Of course, he won the contest, and his prize for having the most creative outfit meant that he would be king for the day. Outside, the Capitol Police was ready to engage the visitors with some exciting activities. Blue Lives Matter! One of the most enjoyable outside activities was rock climbing! Yay! It was so much fun for the visitors. Others engaged with Capitol Police with an amazing game of tug of war. Who do you think won the game? And for those visitors who were hot, the Capitol Police turned on the sprinklers so they could run through and frolic like they were children again. And for the more artistic type, visitors were able to create statues that would best capture what the Capitol looks like from the outside. Another wonderful art activity for the visitors was flag making, where visitors were able to design what they think a great American flag would look like. And the winner of the flag making contest? This guy. Oh, just look at that beautiful flag with the wonderful red, the blue, and the stars. What great symbol of peace, equality, and unity. Oh, it was such a wonderful day filled with amazing activities. Some of the visitors had so much fun that they needed to rest. But what a wonderful thing. The Capitol had a special place for them to lay down their heads and rest. Oh, look at these silly guys playing around. They're pretending that they can fly. <laughs> what a wonderful joke. But unfortunately... All great things must come to an end. So they had the award ceremony for the most energetic visitor that participated in the most activity. And this guy got a grand trophy to take home with him. And to end the day of their wonderful visit, President-elect Biden addressed the crowd and thanked them for visiting. 
and he closed that with a wonderful prayer. And everyone is looking forward for when he becomes the next president of the United States because they know he will do an amazing job. As the visitors filed out to return back to their hotels or to the airport, they cheered and they thanked everyone at the Capitol for hosting them and for ensuring they had a wonderful time. Their visit will not soon be forgotten. Some visitors could not leave without first hugging their host and Capitol Police for all that they did to ensure that the day would be a memorable one. Although this video was created with satirical intentions, my heart does go out to our great nation. The events at the Capitol reveal that our country is a country divided and many of our systems are broken. What our country really needs is healing.